Hi guys, so it's time for my monthly favourite comic books. Um, you already know that because you read the title anyway. I'm really, really late this month because I wanted to get my Halloween videos up and everything, but um, there was like really, really good comic books that came out this month as well, so I definitely need to show them. First one that I'm most excited about is Wild's End. Um, I don't know if I've spoke about this on my channel before, but this is like um, amazing basically. The first like Wild's End kind of series, or whatever what you want to call it. There was six issues, so it said one of six in the corner of each time, so I knew it was coming to an end kind of thing. And I think that's really cool because you should know when something's coming to an end, like a movie or whatever. I'm not positive whether this came out in October, but I found the second issue in October and I was like, when did the first issue come out? And I got all excited and I actually found it in the shop like immediately after, so that was really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is about these guys here, I'm gonna show you. And in in the first series they find an alien kind of creature like thing and they have to run away from it and stuff and it's just really really cool but the big like issue should be out in um, comic book stores now so if you want to get the first issue which you should do before reading the new ones obviously you should go and get that and it's really really cool and they are British little woodland, woodland animals like the fox image which, which is called Mr Fox which is really cool so yeah this is awesome the wild's end the next comic book this month that I was pretty impressed with is Star Wars Shattered Empire. So this series is the lead up to the new movie that's coming out, as it says up there. <laughs> it's showing what happened after the original Star Wars series, obviously. So it's got Luke in there and Leia in there and Han Solo, and it's just following those guys around and it's fun. So yeah, Star Wars Shattered Empire, this is really cool. This is issue four, by the way, issue four came out most recent. But I think it's weekly, so that's really cool. You could probably just join in at any time if you've watched the Star Wars, you might be able to just connect the dots. Back to the Future comic, this one is really amazing. When I saw that this was coming out, I was like, I'm so excited because obviously, as you know, was it October the 20, 25th or the 26th? I can't remember. Anyway, um, Doc and Marty came from 1985 to 2015 and they were very disappointed because they didn't see cool hovering skateboards or anything like that. They saw people going around on little wheelie things and falling off curbs and stuff. So yeah, um, bit disappointing for Doc and Marty, but this comic book is... <laughs> I'm not even exactly sure yet <laughs> what this comic book is, because this is only issue one. It showed a bit of how Doc and Marty met. I think that might have actually been the full comic book, how Doc and Marty met. Um, and how they became friends and stuff. But yeah, this is just gonna be so cool. The first issue I read like two weeks ago, so I can't remember that much about it, but I enjoyed it and that's all I need to know. So, back to the future. The next one I've mentioned in pretty much every, every, <laughs> The next one I've mentioned in pretty much every monthly favourites that I've done and it's the Groot series, it's still amazing. This one actually nearly made me cry when I was reading it in work, so yeah. Go and get the Groot series or wait until it comes out in big issues obviously the, and then you can get the full issues and read it all at once and stuff and it'll probably cost you less money and then you won't have all these single ones taking up all your space like I do but it's just so good. So yeah, Groot! Lumberjanes, <laughs> loppy lumberjanes. Um, people who are like comic book collectors will probably be like really annoyed at the way I hold these. But um, I've been reading the first issue of Lumberjanes and I'm like halfway through it. But when I saw that there was new single issues coming out, Beyond Bay Leaf, that's like the difference. So there's Lumberjanes like one and two, and then this is like what's going to be happening after they leave. I think after they leave Bay Leaf, the place where they've been like in the summer school thing. So yeah. Um, I just started reading this yesterday and it's quite a big first issue even though the last few pages are just advertisements and stuff. But yeah, um, it was really cool and fun and if you like the Lumberjanes you're obviously going to like this. If you haven't read the Lumberjanes first issue yet, go and read that. There's two like big issues out and then there's this starting. So it's basically about these five girls that are good friends and they get into some crazy adventures in like forests and stuff and it's really cool. So yes. Okay, so I've got a couple more comics left and I, oh no. 
Okay, so I just dropped my camera and that was scary. Um, I've got a couple more comics left and I'm kind of in a rush now because I need to get out, but I need to show these. So yeah, this is Midnight. This is about a gang of cats that protects the world from crime and evil. Look how cute it is. It's a black cat. It reminds me of my old Alistair. <laughs> and it's really cute and stuff. And the last one, Journey Issue 3. I didn't show Issue 2 because that one was genuinely a little bit boring, but this one is getting back into being really cool. So she wants to find her mum who was stolen by this horrible man. Um, I'm never good at explaining things as you know but yeah um, it brings out the feminist in me and um, it's really really cool so this is Jenny. Ooh. So yeah thank you very much for watching my video. No wait before I go. Before I go, this isn't a single issue, this is a kind of like a graphic novel and it's called Love the Fox and it's about a day in the life of this fox here and it nearly made me cry and it was really awesome so you should be able to pick this up in a lot of comic book stores if not all comic book stores and it's really really cool, there's no words in it because it's about a fox who doesn't need to talk to anyone but it's really really good, yes! Actually I think it's a she, it's a she. I'm not, I'm Anyway, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you again very, very soon, but give me a big old hug anyways. Oh man, go up to Lizzie. <laughs>